Well, the circus continues. And by circus, I'm talking about what I call Sterling Gate. And that is this business about Donald Sterling. Ah, uh, yes, Donald Sterling. Magic Johnson is irrelevant. What has he done? Can you tell me? Big Magic Johnson, what has he done? Well, yes, he's a business person. He, uh, he's got AIDS. I mean, come on, y'all remember Donald Sterling, right? Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. You have to. In addition, Sterling, who is white, told his then girlfriend, V. Stiviano, that he doesn't want her taking pictures and posting with Magic Johnson. He demands she disassociate with black people in the public eye, including at Clippers games where he was once an owner. The recording was released by TMZ. Condemnation came from all around the world, and then. Effective immediately, I am banning Mr. Sterling for life from any association with the Clippers organization or the NBA. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver had enough. But you know who didn't? The owner of the Clippers, Donald Sterling, the man we're talking about, is widely considered to be a bad guy here in Los Angeles. I dissent. What a shocker. From the guy who said this. The election of Donald Trump in 2016, in my opinion, was divine intervention. Who also once said this. Would you have voted in favor or against the civil rights legislation of 1964? Yes, I would have voted against it. I mean, this is the guy we're talking about. Larry Elder, a man who has been heavily influenced by prominent white nationalists. A man who continues to influence known white supremacists like Stephen Miller, going so far as hoping Miller runs for president one day. He's oh, my question. Like he's some sort of criminal. He's not a criminal. He, he supports not only the discrimination against black people, he supports those who murder murder black teens. So is it any real surprise he defends someone as despicable as Donald Sterling? So you ban Donald Sterling for life because his girlfriend trapped him into saying some inappropriate things on videotape? And if you go over the tapes and you really look at what this guy is saying, what you got is an old 80-something-year-old guy. Nah, 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 nah. Don't give me the come on, he's a racist old white guy. Not happening. But for Elder. Well, he's George guy, Zimmerman he about his shot dead an unarmed he's a guy who cares teenager. About his neighborhood. He's, a neighbor, he's a neighborhood watch guy. Don't you want people who are proactive? Racist white people are his jam. I like to help minorities. Did you know that Donald Sterling attempted to force out minority tenants by refusing to do repairs and refusing rent checks and accusing them of non-payment when a 66-year-old legally blind, partially paralyzed tenant named Candace Jones wanted to be reimbursed for the damage to her flooded apartment, he reportedly said said, just evict the B word. And this racist has hired a black coach, Doc Rivers, seven mil. Doc, by the way, is married to a white woman. And Chris Paul, his starting guard, makes $18 million. What a preposterous defense. But hey, since you brought it up, let's talk about his employees, shall we? He reportedly brought women into the Clippers locker room after games and viewed his players as property, telling the girls in front of his employees, look at those beautiful black bodies. The players at this time, some you may remember, Corey Maggette, Elton Brand, and Sam Cassell, to name a few. In his personal life, he demanded employees who would advance his sexual favors for a lawsuit that reached a familiar conclusion settlement he hired christine jacksey touched her inappropriately and said he wanted massage therapists quote who will you know let me put it in or who will suck on it but larry elder all in you know what we're not all in on your position as governor vote no on the recall and send this ass bag back to daytime radio